Hey everyone, I'm Poonchi and we're back for more Minecraft. Uh, this is going to be another Minecraft 101 tutorial video and today we're going to be talking about crafting. So let's open up our world. Mm, loading world. Alrighty. And it's raining. Well, isn't that great? Uh, Alright, so we're going to be talking about crafting today. Uh, since Think Noodles, um, he has the basics of the game, but he needs help with crafting. So I'm just going to be go going over like the basic items you can craft today. So most basically, these are just a few like weapons you can craft. You know, this is a sword, pickaxe, axe, shovel, and a hoe. Uh, not like that kind of hoe. It's like for, it's for it's used for farming. <laughs> um, so basically what you want to do is grab it, find a crafting table, and just place it like what a sword would look like. And so most of the items in Minecraft are like their crafting patterns what they would look like normally in the real world. So yeah, just do what you would normally think like because you know a furnace, square, crafting table, square. So. It should look like what it normally looks like, you know, armor, the head, the chest plate, the shoes, the pants. They all look like what they should look like. And so, uh, wait, I'm going to go deposit all of these really fast because I need an empty uh, inventory. Oh, and one other thing about like efficient inventory controls, uh, left clicking on any item like you get the whole group of it. While right clicking on it, you separate it. You see, as I right click, I'm getting the individual stone components. While I left click, I'm just grouping them together. And if you press shift while left clicking, it'll just go straight into your inventory. And this can save a lot of time when you're trying to grab something with ease of access. So let's go back. As you see, we just crafted our sword. And I sorted all these in its crafting recipe. So Oh, uh, whoops. So, they all look like what they're supposed to look like. I mean, this is what a pickaxe looks like. So, you, uh, nope. so you can just place it as how I placed it. Uh, three cobblestone on top. And see, now you have a stone pickaxe. Let's grab this. This is an axe. An axe is used to cut wood. So, if you ever need to, like, chop down your crafting table really fast, chop down trees, this is what you're going to need, an axe. While a pickaxe is used more for mining. Um, there we go, our iron axe. Uh, here is a shovel. A shovel is not used as much. I mean, um, shovels are only good for removing sand and dirt. But it's better than punching dirt or sand with your hands. So here's your golden shovel. Wait. Alrighty. Uh, and now we have our diamond hoe. Uh, you should never craft a hoe with diamonds um it's really a waste I just decided to use it cuz cuz I felt like it but a hoe is not even a weapon I mean you could it looks like a scythe of sorts but it's only used for farming so if if I were to go on dirt and right click it would become like soil and you can just plant stuff on it okay then um and think you should know how to craft a furnace, a crafting table, so I'm not going to demonstrate all that for you. This is a, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> this is a bed, you know, three wool and oak wood planks on, on the bottom. So you just go into your crafting table, place the wool on top, oh, and it doesn't matter where you place it on the 3x3 three three crafting table, uh, as, long, as long as you put it in this pattern, you'll get your bed. And, right, I should talk about this first. So, when you chop down trees, you get wood. You know, not wood planks, wood. But you want wood planks. So, you can just open up your inventory. Take your oak wood. Oh, no, this is creative. Alright, so, <laughs> take your oak wood, put it in your crafting table, and you're going to get four oak wood planks. Now, this is what you're going to craft things with. You know, you can't really craft anything with just regular wood. You're going to need wood planks. This is, I believe, a fishing rod. Uh, this is used for just fishing, uh, and trust me, fishing in Minecraft is, it's like real fishing, it's, it's really boring, 
Uh, I'll demonstrate for you guys really fast. So this is how you make a fishing rod. And you can put bait on it. It's not required, but you can put bait. And two oak wood planks stacked on top of each other will give you four sticks. And uh, this just makes shears. This is a bucket. Uh, shears, uh, you can't really do much with them, but they are useful when you want to like have a sheep farm. Uh, I'll demonstrate what they do for you. Uh, let me, uh, there's a sheep. Okay, so normally in Minecraft you have to kill the sheep to harvest its wool, but when you have shears, I get its wool without killing the sheep. Um, it's pretty darn ugly, but that's all right. You can also harvest vines the same way. So if I were to go up to let's say this tree right here, I could harvest. Ah, uh, what am I? Okay, I could harvest its vines. And I would, where, I guess I'm not picking it up, but, yeah, if you click on vines, you, you'll get them without actually breaking them with shears. Alright, uh, and let's go fishing. Woo. Alrighty, uh, fishing is used to catch raw fish, it's a form of food. And so what you do is you right click over any body of water, and your line's gonna go out. And so you want to right click again once your bobber sinks down. You see, I just got a fish. Uh, that was actually out of pure luck. It's not that easy to fish. So, yeah, you just wait till the bobber goes down. And you get a fish. Uh, why didn't I get one? Uh, dude. Yeah, it's really boring. You just have to watch the bobber. And once it goes down, right click again. And yeah, that is fishing. That's all there is to fishing. Uh, and raw fish can be used to tame ocelots. And so an ocelot would look like this. But they will run away from you. So any sudden movement, they're just going to run. See, as I chase the ocelot, it's going to start running away. So to tame one of these fellas, you just got to stand here still. Just don't move. And you can slowly start moving toward it to make sure it sees you. And what you want to do is hold the raw fish in your hand. And just start right clicking the air, or just start left clicking the air, and eventually it might come towards you. And so I'm just gonna. Ah, uh, no, it's running away. No! Yeah, it's really hard to tame these guys. I mean, you have to stand perfectly still and you have to get its attention, which is pretty dang hard. Ah, right. oh, no, come back. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna fly toward him and just tame him by force. Ah! There we go. And once you tame it, it's going to start having hearts around him. And you want to tame him until it changes color. So just keep taming it until it changes color. Because um, a tamed ocelot does have a different color. But I don't think this is going to work in creative. But you get the idea. Alright, let's go back to our main deck. And we'll continue with crafting. Sorry, I got... A little distracted there. Okay, what's in here? Alright, let's. Oh, bucket. A bucket is very, very useful when you're out mining. And a bucket, it's crafted with three iron and can only be crafted with iron. And so here you have a bucket. A bucket, you can just use it to like pick up water or lava. See there? I have a. Well, I would have a bucket of lava. So let's change it to survival. See, look, I have now a lava bucket. And I can deposit that back. And I can also get water bucket. And I'll deposit that back as well. Okay. Now let's change it back to creative. Alrighty. Uh, okay, so this is armor. Uh, armor, I, think, I don't think you're going to have enough diamonds <laughs> to make a full diamond armor. But, yeah. I mean, diamond armor is pretty sweet. You know, this is your headset, diamond helmet, diamond chest plate, leggings, and feet. So here we have a basic torch. Um, again, it looks like what a real torch would look like. You know, and you have the coal on top, which powers the stick, and you get four torches. This, I believe, is a ladder. It looks like what a what a ladder should look like. Uh, you know, it's crafted with seven sticks you know alright do, do, do. oh that's not working alrighty then I was gonna I was trying to do like shift and clicking on it but 
I guess it only works with inventory. And you get three ladders. Ladders, I mean, ladders are like vines, and you can climb them. And so if you want to build a treehouse thing, you're probably going to have to build a lot. See, I can just... And boom, I'm up. Uh, where what chest was I on? Oh, this one. Uh, this is a iron door. Um, well, it really depends what easy difficulty you're on. An iron door, it's I guess it's more like secure, but zombies aren't gonna break down iron doors if you're in easy mode. They can only break down doors in hardcore mode. And so this is an iron door, like I explained in the last Minecraft 101 video. Iron doors can only be opened with a button. Uh, a lever or a pressure plate. Uh, a wooden door, you can just right click on it. Um, yeah, this is a wooden door. And I actually don't know what this is. Uh, I prepared this like last night. And I Minecraft wikied a lot of these recipes, so I don't actually know what this creates. So let's find out. Oh, this is a boat. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. A boat. A boat's another method of transportation. You can use it to travel on water, although I'm not sure how you actually guide one. I have trouble with it as well. But what you want to do is go up to a body of water, right click it, right click it again, and you can get in the boat. Although I'm not really sure how you move, but that's <coughs> sorry. That's the basic basics of a boat. Okay, that this one's empty this one right this is an arrow uh, an arrow pretty useful you know you can shoot I mean no this is a bow you can shoot arrows with it uh, this is how you craft an arrow you put flint stick and feathers in this arrangement and so yeah uh, this is just an arrow you can enchant an arrow and you might get infinity one which you can just shoot arrows with like unlimited arrows. And this is creative, so I don't really have any arrows in my inventory, but I can just keep firing them. As I said, this is an arrow, flint, stick, and feather. This these are stairs. It's an alternative to ladders or vines. They can be crafted with wooden planks, stone planks, brick, I believe, and some other like materials <laughs> uh, they're crafted in the stair formation and you just stack them up and you'll get four oak wood stairs uh, I think I have a few stairs here yeah right there so these are what stairs look like and you can just stack them and you go straight up it's an alternative for like climbing up something else uh, and that's everything I was gonna go over and I just wanna go over how to tame a wolf since you got a bit confused with the ocelot in your last what is that all right anyway um so this is a wolf do i have a bone no i don't let's just grab one all right a bone can be used to craft a wolf remember that don't don't try to use a bone on an ocelot because you're going to be wasting your time and don't use raw fish on a wolf uh when you when you're in survival you're going to want a few because Sometimes it's not going to tame it immediately. I just got lucky this time. Where did the other wolf go? Did it jump off? Really? <sighs> wow. Okay. So once you tame a wolf, it's going to have like a red collar, like I said. And it's basically your pet. It will follow you. And it's much more loyal than an ocelot. Um, it, will, it will even teleport to you. So yeah. Right click on it again and it will sit, right click on it and it will follow you. You can actually, you can also breed these. So if I grab some raw, I think it's pork chop, I believe. If you have, if you give it pork chop, it's going to have hearts. And if I have another wolf and I give it these, it, they should mate, although I'm not sure why. But yeah, you're going to get a bunch of wolf puppies. Woo. All right. Also a lot. Ocelots are deathly afraid of creepers. Let's demonstrate. Let's just... Uh, wait, no, I'm not going to move. Fish. No, we ran away. Don't, don't jump off. Do, do, do. I think I think it's because I'm in survival, so... it's when, like, when I tame it, it's not working. 
Let's do game mode. Survival. That didn't work that well. Uh, oh well. But you get the idea. So basically you can tame it and they are afraid of creepers. So let's spawn a creeper. Although I have no idea why we would want to do so. Um, see look. It ran away. It's, it's scared of ocelots. If I do it right next to him. He's going to run away. They are scared of ocelots. So yeah, just know that you know if you want to make your house creeper proof, just have a bunch of ocelot friends and you should be fine. And so I'm gonna take out these creepers without blowing up my beautiful house. Is this one still in the water? Yep. Ugh. There we go. All right, that and that's I that's everything in this episode of Minecraft 101. Uh, please leave a comment if you would like to see more Minecraft videos or if I should continue this Minecraft 101 series for Think. Uh, I'm Punji and I bid you a wonderful 2013.